Guys, my goodness, what is going on with the royal family? I cannot believe. King Charles, it has been announced today that he has cancer. Well, they haven't told us what type of cancer he has, but we know that um, maybe about two weeks ago, they had announced that he was going in for prostate because his prostate was enlarged. And now today we got this very bad news that he has cancer. And uh, this was a statement from Buckingham Palace. They said, during the king's recent hospital procedure for benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concern was noted. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer. So again, they haven't stated what it is. They're just telling us that they're, they diagnose him with cancer. They say His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments. This sounds very bad, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public facing duties. So Kate is out of commission, William is out of commission, and now Charles is basically going to be on some bed rest. Because they are saying that, yes, yeah, so they are saying that he is he, going to be away from the public. So even in terms of signing documents, he will meet with the prime minister. He will um, do those official work. So it's not like William will come in as a regency. But Charles is going under. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with the House of Windsor. We know that Kate has not been seen from December 28th. From Christmas Day, actually, from December 25th, she has not been seen. Where is Kate? We need to know what's going on. We got news from the Spanish um, reporters, um, that lady, that Concha, lady. that's saying that Kate is act was actually in a coma because apparently they did a surgery and the post-operation was bad. So she's out. We have not seen her face from December 25th. Something is not right. And now we have been told that my King Harry is on his way to UK. And guess what? We know that Harry and his family are not on good speaking terms. We know that Harry loves his family dearly, but they have been doing some things to him that he just had to take a step back. And as a result, he and his wife and ch beautiful children live in, live in Montecito, California. So now Harry is back. Megan is not going back. The kids now are not going back. But, you know, sometimes it takes a crisis to bring families back together. Let's hope. But we know that Charles and William... Hmm, not really, not, not, I don't want to say it because, you know, sickness is happening right now, but we know what has happened. We know the past, but yes, Harry's on his way back to look for his dad, to visit his dad, to ensure that, you know, he's there with his dad. And that's good. That's good. As much as I'm not too fancy of Charles and William, I'm really happy that Harry has, is playing the bigger role and taking this step to go and visit his father. Um, of course, you know, they continue to say that the king is grateful to his medical team for their swift intervention, which was made possible thanks to, recent, to the recent procedure. Because we know that he went in and spent about three nights for the prostate enlargement surgery that he did. You know, the, he wasn't supposed to stay that long, but he did spend three nights. So that told you that something was going on. And apparently that's when they found, even though there are reports that something was happening long before this happened. So, the, you know, Buckingham Palace, they don't really tell people the exact news or the truth. So we, we have to take everything with a grain of salt. But right now, the House of Windsor seem to be falling. And can King Harry come and save the day? Let's hope. We don't know. I don't even know if Harry would be interested in joining back the royal family in a working capacity. Because right now, he seems to be very happy in California with his wife. But they are a family, and at the end of the day... That's all we can hope that as a family, they are there for each other in time of need. 
So, let's see. Very sad. Thank you so much for watching these quick royal updates, daily and consistent. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We appreciate all the comments because this is a growing channel and we want to reach as many people as possible. So thank you again. Um, see you soon when we post another update. Bye.